Have you ever noticed how entitled and demanding the lyrics to some Christmas songs are? Oh, bring us a figgy pudding and bring it right now. We won't go until we get some. Well, do you see me wearing an Applebee's name tag? No. And don't get me started on I'll Be Home for Christmas. Please have snow and mistletoe and presents around the tree. What, do you want hot, hot cocoa in a blanket too? Come on. Now, of course, at least that guy said please. But still, <laughs> I have half a mind to tell you to go fall la la yourself. Season's greetings, one and all, and welcome to Tom's Hit Parade. I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season, and if you're not, that's okay too. Uh, it just uh, I'm aware of the fact that uh, seasonal depression can ramp up around this time of year. Uh, not all, not everybody is lucky enough to have uh, the family or uh, loved loved ones around them as their support structure to uh, help them out and uh, give them warmth and togetherness this time of year. I fortunately am one of the luckier people out there. Um, so yes, uh, the holidays have always been uh, nice for me. We're not a religious family, so for uh, you know, for us, the holidays, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and the like, have always been about uh, being with one, one another, being with family. And uh, so, yeah. But so, uh, just just know that for those of you who are not so lucky, you're not alone, and uh, there are brighter days ahead. Who knows when you go to sleep tonight. When you wake up the next morning, it could be the the most wonderful thing in, thing in the world could happen to you that day. So, you know, bear with it if you can. Do everything you can to bear with it, uh, because uh, life does eventually get better, and it, it's those wonderful moments in life that are worth it, that are worth the 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 downslides. Uh, but anyway, to uh, you know, without without uh, trying to go on and uh, make this video way longer than it needs to be, this hat is warm, you know. Anyway. Uh, I am going to present to you today the first of two holiday-themed videos here, and I'm going to try not to screw the, screw them up like I did last year's. Uh, last Christmas, I was still trying to get my footing, uh, regroup, as it were, after my old camera died, the one that I used, used to use to make videos, and so I wasn't sure what I was doing yet. I was doing most everything as a live stream. And, oh, that reminds me, if you happen to be looking at my videos and you see a huge gap uh, like about the second half of 2021, I think it was, if I remember correctly. Um, there was there seems to be a gap. Look on the live tab of my uh, YouTube channel's homepage, because for a while, a while I was doing nothing but live streams, so you'll find a lot of video, videos there too. But anyway, uh, yeah, some good stuff. Anyway, uh, so yes, uh, last year, uh, you know, I do these, as you can tell by the title of the video, The Twelve Tapes of Christmas. I present this video in the style of it was inspired by the classic song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. And I forgot to do the on the first day of Christmas, on the second day of Christmas thing as I was presenting the tapes and the CDs. <laughs> Both videos I screwed up. So, yes, I made myself little post-it notes so I could remember to do that. <laughs> you got to go with what works, right? So anyway, <clears throat> yes, uh, I will be presenting the Twelve Discs of Christmas later this week. That will be 12 CDs that I picked at random out of my uh, holiday backlog of music. Listen to them all and give you my thoughts on them. And uh, today uh, I'm doing the same thing, but with cassettes. I had a whole bunch of cassettes uh, that uh, my mother's friend Sue gave me all these cassettes, and there were a bunch of holiday ones mixed into them. So that's what I'm doing with these. Uh, that That's how I'm going through the holiday tapes. I'm able to get rid of, uh, to knock 12 off the list every year, so that my backlog shrinks gradually. Uh, so yes, and I, I can't listen to holiday music at any time of the year. I really can't put it on until after Thanksgiving, otherwise I'm going to get sick of it. Uh, but anyway, so yes, in rough order, as, as I kind of do with Bargain Bag, in rough order from least favorite to most favorite, I now present the 12 tapes of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was The Magic of, of Christmas by Benedict Cumberbatch, I mean Engelbert Humberdink. Uh, so yes, not a bad, uh, not a bad album, you know. Engelbert is, he's one of those singers that kind of gets a little bit, uh, um, and unfairly really, a little bit of, uh, he's got a reputation for being cheesy. Not so bad. I mean, his voice is not one of the more interesting ones, in my opinion. So, uh, 
you know, there's that of this. That's why he's first on the list. He's my least favorite of the bunch. But uh, yeah, all the staples are here. Oh, come on, ye faithful. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Winter Wonderland. Uh, Lover's Holiday, which I did not recognize the name of that one. or, or And I didn't recognize the song when it played either. Uh, so, but yeah, a decent enough holiday album. <clears throat> Pardon the click as I put it on the table here. But uh, yeah, still happy to listen to it. Uh, and, you know, I, I'll i listen to almost any holiday music when, when it's that time of season. It's something that kind of gets me in the spirit. Anyway, on the second day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was Jim Reeves, uh, The Twelve Songs of Christmas. Here's The Twelve Songs of, of Christmas on The Twelve Tapes of Christmas. Anyway, not bad. Uh, Jim Reeves, I don't think I'd ever listened to him before because his voice is quite a bit deeper than I imagined it would be. Uh, that that's neither here nor there. It's not, uh, you know, not a bad voice, not a fantastic voice, but still a, a, a decent voice. Uh, Jingle Bells, Blue Christmas, the uh, what the song that Elvis made famous, uh, Senor Santa Claus, and Mary's Little Boy Child, uh, the Merry Christmas Polka. <laughs> that gets you in a holiday spirit, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, <laughs> White Christmas, Silver Bells, A Little Town of Bethlehem. Uh, yes, this is a. A decent album, and yeah, with a lot of these older albums, you kind of expect to have uh, basically just the the, the good old-fashioned chestnuts. Not just the roasting on an open fire variety, but, you know, holiday chestnuts, as in songs. Anyway, I'm just full of the bad jokes, aren't I? Uh, anyway, on the third day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was Rhythm and Blues Christmas. Uh, this is a compilation, as you can see. We've got uh, Denise Williams, Freddie Jackson, the OJs, Lou Rawls, Al Green, and this was made in the early 90s. Oh, actually, the, the earliest copyright date is 1988. So, well, but yeah, the compilation was 1993. So, yeah, a nice assortment of stuff. Um, and again, this is more the traditional R&B. It's not so much the contemporary R&B, which I'm not a huge fan of in terms of Christmas music. We got uh, Have, Yourself a uh, yeah, bleh. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by the OJs. And Do You Hear What I Hear by Denise Williams, uh, Christmas Forever by Freddie Jackson, The Christmas Song by Lou Rawls, so, and, and the list goes on. Very enjoyable album. Something a little bit different. Uh, R&B is a little... Excuse me. R&B in your Christmas music is a little bit different. Always, uh, always nice to have something to break up the monotony of holiday music. Anyway, on the fourth day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was Christy Lane. Uh, with, I guess it's just called Christmas. Yeah, Christy Lane is, I believe, a uh, country and gospel singer from the 70s, I think. And, uh, yeah, not bad. Actually, I probably could have put the uh, R&B Christmas uh, after this one. I think I like that one a little bit more. But uh, still, when it comes to holiday music, you know, how can you complain? Unless it's just really, really awful, which Christy Lane is not. Uh, so, yes, uh, Silver Bells... Pretty Paper, the song that uh, uh, Willie Nelson made famous. Uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Silent Night. Uh, now, one of them on here I did not recognize, Shake Me, I Rattle. I guess that's that's an original, I assume. And then Do You Hear What I Hear and Oh Christmas Tree. So, yeah. uh, quite an enjoyable little selection of holiday songs. And uh, then we have another compilation on the fifth day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me, was The Magic of Christmas. Oh, Anyway, it has uh, some of the more uh, classic uh, classic American crooners. We got Bing Crosby, Tony Bennett, uh, Judy Garland, uh, Johnny Mathis, Andy Williams, uh, Perry Como. So, yeah, this is kind of an old uh, easy listening and uh, great American songbook Christmas. Well, of course, Christmas songs are not great American songbook. They're something else. <clears throat> and all the uh, standards are here, except uh, Tony Bennett. The opening track is sung by Tony Bennett. It's called Snowfall. I'm not terribly familiar with that song. It uh, was uh, kind of a new one for me. And we've got uh, Do You Hear What I Hear is performed by Bing Crosby. Uh, oh Come All Ye Faithful is by Andy Williams. Uh, Winter Wonderland is sung by Engelbert Humperdinck. And then uh, The Twelve Days of Christmas is sung by Roger Whittaker. So, yeah. A very enjoyable album. I like that one. And then here we have On the Sixth Day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me is 
Richard Claterman with A Romantic Christmas. I'm not sure how romantic it is because it's just, you know, pretty much the same old Christmas songs. White Christmas, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Silver Bells, The Little Drummer Boy, Ave Maria, Silent Night, Holy Night, Jingle Bells, O Tenenbaum, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and Christmas Concerto that closes the album. But yes, Richard Claterman is a pianist and uh, just a, a very talented, talented one. So yes, nice instrumental piano arrangements of holiday classics. So yeah, a good, easy listening uh, album for Christmas. Now on the seventh day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was Christmas Wishes from Kenny Rogers. And uh, yeah, it's Kenny Rogers. What can you say? How can you get a bad album from Kenny Rogers? You really can't. But uh, yeah, the uh, mostly the same old Christmas songs. White Christmas, Carol of the Bells, Oh Holy Night. I don't know, calling them the same old Christmas songs kind of undersells the album because hey, when it's somebody like Kenny Rogers singing them. Uh, oh, and we have Kentucky Homemade Christmas. When it's, a, when it's Kenny Rogers, you're going to have some uh, uh, country-themed Christmas songs. And uh, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. Another one on there. And Christmas Every Day. I think that might be the one that... Uh, did Elvis Presley make that one famous? I can't remember. But anyway, yes, Christmas Wishes from Kenny Rogers. A pretty darn nice holiday album indeed. Now, on the eighth day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was... Merry Christmas with the Supremes. Yes, the it, that's a Motown album. Uh, yeah, Motown holiday albums. How can you go wrong? Uh, at least I haven't gone wrong yet with a Motown holiday album. Uh, some of them come a little clo too close to contemporary R&B, but uh, still, yeah. The Supremes, I mean, the voices of, Don of uh, not Donna Summer. What's her name? Diana Ross. Thank you. Uh, and her uh, singing partners in the Supremes. Great stuff. You're going to end up with wonderful results. White Christmas, Silver Bells, uh, Born of Mary. That one's a pretty good one. And, oh, what was the one that, oh, the one that I really liked? Uh, Children's Christmas Song, I think, was the one that I really enjoyed. And uh, it's got My Favorite Things. There's another one that you don't hear on a whole lot of holiday albums. Uh, oh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Me. That one, that one was fun. I like that one. And a little bright star. So, yes, uh, several uh, original songs. Maybe not original to the Supremes, but stuff that's kind of off the beaten path from the normal holiday stuff. So yes, a very enjoyable album. I really like that one. On the ninth day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was Noel Noel. This is another uh, compilation. You've got Carol Burnett, which uh, I, I've always enjoyed Carol Burnett, though I don't have a lot of her singing. She's more of a comedian and an, and an actress than a singer, but so I, um, I, I've i just started listening to to her uh, music output. Uh, she did, didn't have a whole lot, as I, uh, from what I've found so far, not a whole lot of albums or anything to her credit, so it's fun listening to her. And then we've got uh, Stephen Edie Gourmet and lots of other stuff on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I've got Andy Williams, Debbie Reynolds, and uh, Percy Faith and his orchestra. So you've got some instrumental stuff on here, as well as some vocal stuff. And yes, Carol Burnett sings the Christmas songs. Wonderful. Uh, Johnny Mathis sings Silver Bells. And you've got the New York Philharmonic Orchestra on here as well. So, And the Johnny Mann Singers. So you have some of those uh, easy listening 50s um, chorales that, are, that were popular back then. So yes, a fun, kind of a, a bit of an unusual holiday album. So... So yeah, very good stuff. And let me take a drink here, sorry. Got a bit of a scratchy throat, so hopefully I'm not coming down with something. Uh, anyway. Oh, speaking of an artist I just named, named a second ago. On the 10th day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was Christmas Eve with Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis is one of my favorite, uh, all-time favorite classic crooners, alongside Tony Bennett and uh, those guys. So yes, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Jingle bells. Christmas is for yeah. Christmas is for everyone. So yes, a, a good, uh, interesting mix of the more popular songs and the not not quite as popular songs. So yes, 
good stuff. And of course, when it's Johnny Mathis, for me, you can't go wrong with Johnny Mathis, I gotta say. And then on the 11th day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was The Carpenters with an Old Fashioned Christmas. Very good stuff on here. I mean, Karen Carpenter's voice is absolutely classic, iconic, if you will. So her and actually um, uh, Richard joins her in vocals on some of the songs. Uh, you know, you cannot go wrong with Karen Carpenter's voice, honestly. It's just fantastic, wonderful album. In fact, I'm kind of surprised I didn't put this at number one, but you'll see in a minute why he had, she had some stiff competition. Uh, it came upon a Midnight Clear, uh, which, oh, I guess that's a medley uh, of The First Noel, March of the Toys, Little Jesus, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, and... Uh, and Angels We Have Heard on High. Then we've got uh, Oh Holy Night, Home for the Holidays. That's a really, really nice one. I really like their rendition of that one. And Do You Hear What I Hear, and My Favorite Things, and He Came Here for Me, which is an uh, unusual song. So, yeah, very wonderful stuff on here. And I, if I have anything to say about it, this will not be the only Carpenter's Holiday album I will pick up. I'm kind of surprised that all I have besides this is just a compilation of Carpenter's stuff because I just, I love Karen Carpenter's voice. It's one of my favorite female voices of all time. So I'm kind of surprised I have not gone and actually started collecting their studio albums. So anyway, and finally, the, the winner winner of this one on the 12th day of Christmas, the cassette tape played by me was Elvis's Christmas album. And now the only reason, um, I'm not absolutely thrilled with this is because I found out after I listened to it that it is a, uh, it's not the original track listing for the album. This is one of those kind of like Bing Crosby's uh, Merry Christmas, which was later retitled White Christmas, that have undergone a multitude of track, uh, you know, track changes, uh, you know, shufflings and omissions and insertions of new songs that weren't on the original track list and all this other stuff. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a, well, I don't know if I'd say I'm a purist that way, but when I hear a classic holiday album, I want to hear the original version of it. And this was not the original version, but still, the songs are very, very good. Uh, I cannot remember now which songs were, you know, later inclusions and which ones were originals on this album. But you've got Blue Christmas, that's kind of Elvis's signature holiday song, uh, Silent Night, White Christmas, uh, Santa Claus is back in town. He did a great job on that one. Hey, it's Elvis. He did, does a great job on just about everything. And then, uh, what was, oh, if every, if every day was like Christmas. I really, really enjoyed that one. That's what, that was one of my, <clears throat> excuse me, that was one of my favorites on the, all 12 of these tapes that I listened to. So yes, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, Santa bring my baby back to me. I really like that one as well. So, hey, nobody sings Christmas songs quite like Elvis did. So, there you go. That is my my favorite of these 12 holiday cassettes. So there you go. That'll do it for the 12 tapes of Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comments section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds and to links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notification bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, happy holiday. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.